In Africa, where 30% of the population are undernourished, the farming of fish, also known as aquaculture, is helping boost food and nutrition security. Fish is often the most affordable source of animal protein and provides essential micronutrients for more than 400 million people. Helping to develop this vital sector is the Africa Aquaculture Research and Training Centre in Abassa, Egypt, run by the international research organisation World Fish. من ضمن أحد الأنشطة القوية جدا المركز الدولي للأسماك في العباسة مميز بها هي عملية التدريب ونقل التقنية للمختصين والمشتغلين بقطاع الصزراع السمكي في مصر وفي جميع أنحاء العالم وبالأخص في قارة إفريقيا. Since 1999, more than 1,690 individuals from 105 countries have attended training. We've been learning different techniques in aquaculture and hopefully when I get back to my country it would help in capacity building because in my country we are we do we have a lot of natural resources you know fisheries natural resources we have the atlantic ocean in the coastline in the southern area um, but it's unfortunate that we haven't been able to harness these resources that we have my government uh, uh, the government of mauritius has laid, has laid a lot of emphasis in aquaculture because the capture fisheries is, is diminishing so we are putting a lot of emphasis on aquaculture and uh, we know egypt is good in our aquaculture so I am here to learn and share this knowledge to my people in my county when I am back. The best practice trainings are based on findings from the centre's research into new and improved fish farming technologies, which has been ongoing since 1998. بجانب ان احنا طورنا تقنيات لتفريخ الاسماك وتقنيات لتغذيه الاسماك في المزارع السمكيه وتركيبات العلائق اللي هي اكثر اقتصاديا في الانتاج السمكي من حيث استدامتها والتكلفه ده بجانب ان احنا كنا حريصين دائما من خلال جميع الممارسات اللي احنا بنعملها على انتاج اسماك صحيه وامنه للمستهلك وذات تاثير since 2000, the centre has run a breeding program for a faster growing strain of Nile tilapia known as the Abassa Improved Strain. Dissemination of the Abassa strain has benefited many farmers in Egypt, the third largest tilapia producing country in the world. والله احنا كنا بنطلع مثلا اربعة طن بقينا بنطلع خمسة طن مثلا فرقة في الحجم وطبعا بتكبر بسرعة Spread over 62 hectares in the Nile Delta, the center has 185 earthen ponds, 75 indoor concrete tanks and a research laboratory. These facilities are used by research institutions and private businesses from Africa and beyond to engage in collaborative research with the center. فاحنا بنتكلم عن ان احنا هنقدر نستخدم الخامات المحليه، مواد الخام المحليه اللي بتدخل في صناعه اعلاف الاسماك والجمبري وبنقدر نقيم ادائها مع السمكه من ناحيه معدلات النمو، معدلات الاعاشه، من ناحيه معدلات الهضميه. هنطلع بنتيجه ايجابيه جدا وحلول غذائيه للاسماك والجمبري هتفيد المزارع من ناحيه ان هي تخفض في تكاليف الانتاج وبالتالي زياده الربحيه بالنسبه للمزارع. By 2025, African governments hope that 40% of the total fish consumed in Africa will be met by aquaculture. Research and training provided by the Africa Aquaculture Research and Training Centre will be critical to achieving this goal, ensuring that aquaculture is the source of nutritious and affordable fish for the continent.